Hi guys, a uh, couple of days back I got uh, the Vmos D1 mini board and along with it the relay shield. So Vmos D1 mini is nothing but uh, the EN, a modified version of uh, ESP8266 and it has also got some uh, data lines and uh, you can just program it uh, like an Arduino using your uh, Arduino IDE. By default, you don't have the ESP8266 uh, board manager in your uh, Arduino ID. So today in this video, I'll show you as to how you can add the ESP8266 uh, board manager in your uh, Arduino ID. Open your uh, Arduino ID and then go into file and then preferences and you have space down here uh, for additional uh, board manager uh, urls so please play paste the uh, url uh, that is given in the uh, description of this video so this is a uh, uh, esp8266 uh, board manager url which you need to add and then click ok so after that go into tools and board and then choose board manager and now immediately uh, the board manager will index all the uh, inbuilt board managers and also uh, extract the uh, boards from the link that you just pasted so depending upon the speed of your internet connection uh, this should take uh, quite a while And now down below, or oh, if you just scroll down, you will have this uh, ESP8266 board, board manager. And then choose install. Now you should have the uh, installed indication over here. So once you get that, uh, you can close this. And open your device manager. And just make sure you have the COM port detected and then choose properties right click and choose properties go into the port settings and set it to 115200 and others as 8 none 1 and none choose ok and then go to tools here and from the tools option go into board and then just scroll down until you reach Vmos D1 Mini. Uh, it will be Vmos D1 R2 and Mini. Choose that and then again from tools set the upload speed to the same as what uh, as the one uh, which was set in the uh, device manager settings board rate. So set this to 114200 and then choose the appropriate COM port. And so you should have some kind of an uh, part ID, you know, if you check for your uh, board information. So first, uh, let's check out the basic uh, fundamental working of the Vmos D1 Mini. So let us upload a basic sketch just to verify that the board is working. Go into file, uh, examples, and then just scroll down until you reach uh, ESP8266. And then choose blink and close this okay. so in this you need to specify the off time and on time okay so uh, the first one will be the on time so let us set it for uh, seconds and this one one second while the file is getting uploaded uh, the LED will flash continuously so once it is done 
uh, it will flash according to the times that we have set okay so now if you see it is uh, on for uh, about half a second and then off for almost one second play around with this so with this week we can uh, confirm that the board is working well so the So now LED should uh, turn on for half a second and uh, should be in the off state for uh, almost two seconds. So there are uh, many other examples and also there are uh, plenty of uh, shields uh, associated with the Vmos D1 Mini. So right now what I've got is the relay shield. I'm planning to make one uh, simple IoT switch uh, with the Vmos D1 Mini and the Relay. So I have got uh, two projects in the pipeline. Uh, one is just a basic IoT switch uh, with an, uh, a web interface and another one is using the uh, Blink app. So th that is pretty much it uh, in regards to getting started with the uh, Vmos D1 Mini. So stay tuned for uh, more projects and I hope you find this uh, useful and informative and wish you all a very happy new year. Thank you.